Well, hello. This is a demonstration on how to pull handles. Um, we're going to start with a ball of clay. And instead of a ball, I want to start smacking it and shaping it into this kind of an egg shape. And what I'm doing is smack, turn, smack, turn, smack, turn. I'm turning it and smacking it. Where I can smack, smack, turn, smack, smack, turn, smack, smack, turn, smack, smack, turn. You guys are going to make the video hard to hear if you're smacking your play right now. So, thank you. So, smack, smack, turn, smack, smack, turn. It's turning into kind of an egg shape, but I want it to get more into a carrot kind of shape. So, again, it's the shape of my hand. And the repeated smacking, turning, smacking, turning, smacking, turning. Okay, this is kind of a short, stubby carrot, right? Now I've got something I can actually start pulling uh, into a handle. So I'm going to keep one hand clean and dry. And are you getting a good view of this, Joaquin? Remember the last video was a little shaky, so, right? You guys, the last one was shaky. Do we need more close-ups or? Okay. So I'm going to take wet hand, and I'm going to give it a little twist. That twist creates a groove that is the beginning of my handle. So I'm going to pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn. Pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn. And what I'm trying to do is get the length of the handle that I need. And it's pulled down, not up and down, it's just pulled down. You want it to be getting skinnier as it gets longer. What did you say? Pull, turn, pull, turn, give it a turn every time you pull it. And it should be round. We're trying to get, we're not shaping it yet, we're just getting the length. Okay, this is about long enough. Well, depending on what, how uh, big the cylinder is I'm going to attach this to. But now I'm going to shape it. So round is not a good shape for a handle. It, it's just not comfortable. It doesn't fit your hand well. So I'm going to give it a, flatten it out a little bit using this knuckle on my thumb. And that starts to give it some shape. And it's still getting a little longer as well. So how thin do I want the handle? I don't know, it depends on the mug you're putting it on. Um, this handle is pulled, I'm going to shape it now. And I'm shaping it without touching it. See how it just bent? I didn't touch it at all, I just turned it over. Gravity did the shaping. And now I'm going to take two clean dry fingers, go underneath, I'm going to clip it off with my other hand, onto a board, in fact this is a little too long too. Onto a board, oops. Pretend that didn't happen. I cut it unevenly. There we go. And I'm going to let it sit. I'm not going to touch it again until it's not sticky anymore. I want to dry it. Um, maybe I'm going to put it in the sun for about five or ten minutes. But before I do that, if I need one handle for one cylinder, I need to make ten. So get ten made. The first one's not going to be very great. Number eight, nine, and ten, they're going to be the best ones. So if you need one, make 10, let them dry, and then we're ready to go into the next video, which is how to attach a handle. So check that when you have 10. Uh, what else? Also, these little guys, these are your wounded soldiers. Always collect your wounded. Never leave a man behind, you guys. Don't leave a mess at the sink. I don't want to see any little chunks of handles at the sink. Take them back. Recy this is your clay. Recycle it. Um, reuse it. Put it back in your bag. Okay? Any questions? All right, go for it. Ready to go. Do I stop? Yeah.